March. The Empire's on the run. Alex we got Jones big news and coming the GCN up. Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. <laughs> Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. Crashing through the lies and disinformation. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for joining us. The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to go over some of those stories in a moment and then give the phone number out. Uh, on the next subject I'm about to cover, I want to get your take on it. We're going to cover uh, the move for total open borders and what Sotomayor uh, says labeling illegal immigrants criminals is insulting. Well, if I go to illegally to Mexico, they're going to knock my teeth out and rob me. So, I mean, they, America's hospitality is really being abused. This woman wants to ban guns, and she knows once enough illegals are here, they almost all vote to take the guns, and I'll be her slave. And I'm not your slave yet, you disgusting pig. You anti-government maggot? That's what she is. She's an anti-republic maggot. She's against our form of government. They're the anti-government people that want to overthrow the law and exempt themselves from it. Diane Feinstein, Michael Moore are all maggot pigs. And I'm sick of these soft scum living off taxpayers. Well, they have armed bodyguards. This pig has them. And she says you don't have a right to keep and bear arms. And they will get enough Supreme Court justices to take our guns and start the Civil War. That's their dream. Now, I'm going to tie this in, what I'm about to do, into a big stack of key news stories that are going to blow your mind. 
But first off, we are listener supported. And if you'll vote with your dollars and buy the high quality products that we offer at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, it will allow us to continue our operation and expand it. And it's a big nut to crack to have, I don't know, seven writers, five reporters, uh, crew, uh, all, all of it. We've got 48 people working here, and I'd like to expand that and get a few more reporters. And we can do that if you buy the products. Plus, these are great products. In fact, if you're a TV viewer watching right now on PrisonPlanet.tv, if you're a radio listener, I will uh, uh, basically uh, chronicle uh, and give you a play-by-play. -play. I'm looking at a big, delicious steaming cup right here of Southern Mexican High Mountain Arabica, totally organic, out of or, uh, incredible volcanic soil. I first drank coffee, organic coffee, I don't know, it was like 15 years ago, really, uh, from southern Mexico. And it was my favorite right away, but it was very hard to get it. And it was very expensive. Now co-ops have formed in the last decade as demand has increased. You can even buy similar coffee at Starbucks. It's about twice the price of ours. This is directly beyond fair trade to the farmers down there. To the point of we almost sold out of the bags we bought. We bought enough to bag 10,000. That's basically sold out. We just got another 6,000 in. That may be all we get. We may have to go to Guatemalan coffee that's almost as good right over the border, but very hard to prove it's totally organic if these 6,000 bags sell out quickly. Just to give you an idea, we're going directly to the farmers, and I'm telling you, it is amazingly good, this blend. Two different types. One of them has this key reishi mushroom in it, known to boost immunity and really help prevent cancer. We've got two different brands of it, two different types of Wake Up America brand uh, blend. And here it is, folks, the best coffee in the world, my opinion. Everybody says it's either their new favorite or of an incredibly good cup of coffee in their top three or four favorite types. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Or you can simply go to InfoWarsStore.com. That brings you to the main shopping cart. InfoWarsLife.com brings you to our high-quality food products and supplements. We've only got four items, Super Mel Vitality, Fluoride Shield, and Survival Shield. It's taken me two years to finally be able to bring you this coffee. It took me six months of research and trying to get it done to bring you this true nascent iodine and the true Fluoride Shield and the Super Mel Vitality that also works for women, quite frankly, better for women. But if you want us to say it's for women, we're coming out with one for women that's a little bit different soon. But quite frankly, this works even better with women. Just look, look, buy it. You're at least supporting the free speech and the First Amendment and a platform of liberty, and, and then try it. Take the challenge to buy some Super Mel Vitality. Take the cha challenge to, for a month, go on you know one, one package of the uh, Survival Shield and see what happens. Take the challenge, get the coffee, and see if you just don't love it. I mean, the full-bodied, delicious, this is my favorite coffee. So I've brought it to you in a win-win situation. Uh, Pro Pure, Pro One, uh, 2.0, best uh, filters out there, stainless steel, blows away the competition. Lower price uh, with many other items than, than comparable competition. I just bring you the best water filter. 10% off promo code WATER. Uh, the nascent iodine, I take it three times a day, probably double what the FDA says. I don't recommend you do that. Talk to your physician. I went through detox the first month. Now it just gets better and better. I can't believe how wonderful Dr. Grip is. I mean, I'm not into guys, but I just want to hug him. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, he is a Green Beret. That's the crazy part. He's like a super nice, peacenik guy, and he's like a Green Beret. You know, I didn't even know that till I heard about it from somebody else. The point is, it was after they call him Green Berets when he was in the Special Forces in the 80s in Asia. The point is, is he's a really neat guy, and he developed this original type of nascent iodine that nobody else has got and let us be the exclusive folks that put it out. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And when you shop and when you support us, just like you support farmers markets or the Amish or local media, your local AM and FM stations, your local newspaper, if it's even somewhat pro-liberty, you got to subscribe. You got to support the local businesses. I will go 10 miles out of my way to buy lumber from a mom and pop, even if they're jerks, even if they have problems, I know what they're going through. I will go 10 miles out of my way to go to a mom and pop restaurant before I go in a chain. Plus, the chain restaurants suck, unless it's like a Perry Steakhouse or something. I mean, it's just chains are bad in almost every case. You're treated like an animal. Unless it's something like Roost Chris or something. You know, some of the steakhouses get it down perfectly, and then 
you know, then you want to go to the national chain. But that's only for steakhouses, folks. The point is, in my experience, or, or maybe Ralph Lauren clothing. Uh, I mean, I'm not even into designer stuff, but the Ralph Lauren, for whatever reason, fits me better than other stuff. I got a weird size body, I guess. I got the like the upper half of like a six foot five guy, and I'm five eleven. I just got a big upper size and you know small lower size, like a bulldog. This is why George Norrie calls me that. The point here is, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to shop local. The system wants to extinct local barter and local economy. They want it shut down. They want it shut down. The big charities have gotten regulations passed trying to shut down small charities like United Way uh, and uh, the Red Cross, demonic anti-gun groups that steal almost all the money on record. The only national charity out there, and they don't pay me to say this, I've done the studies, almost 90%. It's gotten worse over the last, it was 96% a few decades ago, but the costs and everything, uh, bureaucracy now, it's like 89%, the Salvation Army. And I give money to the Salvation Army. Meals on Wheels, most of it actually goes to the people. My point is you got to do research on what you support. And local is the answer. I cannot stress that enough. And now let me prove it to you, okay? Remember the story yesterday? In fact, people won't believe it. It was CNS News. But it was also an AP out of uh, Virginia. You guys pulled me that article about banning eight kids in their own quarter-acre backyard for a uh, seven-year-old's birthday party. I mean, I, I mean, I say that, and I think I'm lying. They're having to pass a law to allow birthday parties in America so the, so the militarized zoning police don't show up. Here it is. Fox News. You can't celebrate America, school says. Students and parents at a Colorado high school are outraged after administrators turned down the request for a spirit weekday honoring America because it might offend non-Americans. See, being American now means you pay all the taxes, all the regulations. You, you don't get the welfare. You're a chump. All over the nation, San Antonio last year, kids were wearing American flags, mainly Hispanic, chanting USA when they beat the other mainly Hispanic team from South Texas. There was a national story saying it was racist to chant USA. Maybe a little mindless, but that's what people chant when they think, you know, it's like hooray, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. It has nothing to do with being against USA! Hispanic USA! people. Yeah, that was in a basketball game in San Antonio last year. Remember in San Francisco on Cinco de Mayo, the, 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 the Hispanic kids all over the school, uh, if they were wearing jackets with American flags or, or old Navy shirts that had American flags, it turned out in several cases they weren't even wearing it because it was the week of Cinco de Mayo, and they were sent home, and it's in federal court last time I checked. In fact, l let's prove it to folks. Search... Uh, Search still about San Antonio, San Antonio basketball, USA chant racist. USA chant racist, San Antonio basketball. It'll come up. Here's the article I mentioned, CNS News from yesterday, in case you're a new listener. Because I know this sounds crazy. Property uh, rights bill introduced after a Virginia woman threatened with fines for kids' birthday party. Eight children with, uh, excuse me, 10-year-old girls, and some were seven, uh, there in Bonita's backyard, and the neighbors called the police uh, and they came and threatened them with $5,000 fines. Okay, that's yesterday. Now, here it is. You can't celebrate America. School says they said they didn't want to offend anyone from other countries or immigrants. A 16-year-old member of the student council told me they just really did not want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. So, see, that's like they say, don't be a cowboy or a Native American uh, at a Halloween deal. What's that have to do with putting people down? Don't be a geisha girl. They've said at colleges everywhere, you'll be kicked out. That insults Japanese. Don't be a pirate. Don't don't be a. Again, it's all about we're all off balance. We have no free speech. We uh, but government can do whatever it wants. You can have black folks all over the country because it's seen as trendy now beating up white people on the street. I mean, you go down to Sixth Street, folks, on a Saturday or Friday night, and you walk down by I-35 where Sixth Street ends. And, I, and I'm going to go do stakeouts very soon when I get some time. I'm going to have my folks sit in cars and videotape this every night. People are beaten or stabbed or attacked by groups of racist blacks rolling whites and robbing them because it's acceptable to roll whites because whites are the devil. And the whites, of course, don't fight back because they've been taught, if you love long hair and are a trendy, they know and they, they test and talk to them. They don't do it to other blacks. They don't do it to other redneck whites. They don't do it to Mexicans for sure. But that's a good way to get stabbed every time uh, down there at night. Uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, they, they do it. I mean, uh, 
They do it to white trendies who go, come on, bro, I'm down with you.